Uh, we really learned about how we played Central when we were at their place last. Um, we were really even in terms of our stats, you know, with digging, uh, with, with our hitting percentage, with our kills, and beat them in a lot of categories. And so really it came down to our errors. It came down to having low error performances. Um, our serve errors really hurt us, and especially the timing of the serve error. Uh, so we've been working on that, giving our, our servers opportunities to serve once and then get back into a play. So it's really game-like. Instead of being on the line and serving 20 in a row, we don't do that in a game. So I'm putting them more in a pressure situation um, to be consistent with their serves and then let Central make the mistakes. Um, the other thing was really converting our, our dig to kill. Um, we, when we're out of system, we obviously go to Sam Partoon a lot, and instead of just doing that, we want to dig the ball and then still play um, our play sets. And so what that's meaning is that our, our middles are committing to their set and being a distraction, you know, verbally being a distraction, visually being a distraction, and then making um, a better move out of system for our pin hitters, for Sam, for Carrie, for, for um, Tessa now, and Cass. That way we have more options and, and the other side blockers aren't totally knowing where we're going every time. I think she not only is a great athlete and not only you know, can make the right athletic moves, physical moves, but she's um, really growing up and maturing with her intelligence as a volleyball player. You know, you have to know when to be aggressive, when to give your, your strongest swing, and then you have to know when to fake the other team out and push it deep, push it where they are, you know, aim at the, the setter and get them out of system. So I think she's really taking advantage of that instead of just hit hard. Um, I think that's when she gets blocked a little bit more and when she then might um, second guess what she's going to do next. Instead, she just moves on. She's strong athletically, strong mentally. Nothing can break her. You know, everybody's going to get blocked every once in a while. Everybody's going to make a mistake every once in a while. But the thing that I've noticed in the last few matches are really that um, it doesn't alter the way that she is attacking the other team. And so I'm really proud of her for that. And then it also helps other athletes because they are seeing her confidence and it's really being contagious throughout. And so I think that helps a lot. Yeah, we love our Dig Pink event. You know, it's something that, um, you know, cancer touches every family and every nation. And if we can really promote the awareness of breast cancer and then also, um, you know, possibly fundraise for it and, and for the research and pair that with a sport that we love, that's important to us. And, um, you know, it's not just about decking the whole gym out in pink, but it's, it's about having um, people here that, that can really help out with that awareness and that can help out with that education. And, um, I think it's important that we do it every year so that it becomes a tradition of who we are. Um, and it, it really helps with, with fundraising and, and why we do this. It's not just you know, to wear a different color, but um, it's personal to a lot of people.